Have you ever wondered what happens to whales when they die? The answer to this question takes us on a journey to the depths of the ocean, where an amazing phenomenon known as a whale fall occurs. When these majestic creatures meet their end, their bodies sink into the abyss, turning into underwater oases of life. These fallen giants become the foundation of many ecosystems, supporting a plethora of organisms for many years. They offer a banquet for scavengers, from sharks to tiny organisms, all feasting on the remains. But the real marvel lies in the unseen world of microorganisms. Chemoautotrophic bacteria, these tiny powerhouses, perform a remarkable task. They convert the hydrogen sulfide produced from decomposing whale bones into energy. This energy sustains other deep sea creatures, making the whale fall a crucial source of life in the otherwise barren ocean depths. So the death of a whale is not an end, far from it. It's the beginning of a new unseen journey. A journey that nourishes life in the deep, dark corners of our oceans. But how does this process of decomposition progress, you may ask? Well, it's not a swift journey, but one that unravels over decades. Picture a grand underwater banquet hall where the main course is the whale carcass. The decomposition at a whale fall proceeds in multiple stages. Initially, scavengers such as hagfish and sleeper sharks feast on the soft tissues of the whale, a feast that could last for about two years. Then comes the enrichment opportunist stage, where creatures like snails and crabs consume the remaining bits of flesh. As the banquet progresses, the whale's skeleton becomes a home for various life forms. Among these are unique species of worms that have a rather fascinating lifestyle. These bone-eating worms, or osidax, lack mouths and stomachs and instead, they use root-like structures to penetrate the whale bone and extract nutrients. Further into the decomposition, chemoautotrophic bacteria take the stage. They play a pivotal role in converting the hydrogen sulfide released from the decaying bones into energy. This energy then sustains other deep-sea creatures, creating a thriving ecosystem around the whale fall. The carcass of a single whale can support these deep-sea communities for up to 50 years. Quite astonishing, isn't it? This is the importance of whale carcasses in the deep ocean. They create a circle of life, a testament to nature's resourcefulness and resilience. Thus, the whale's body becomes a life-giving source, even in death. However, the life and death cycle of whales is under threat. Despite global conservation efforts, there are nations still engaged in whale hunting activities. Japan, Iceland, and Norway are among the countries that continue this practice. The impact of these actions on the whale populations is profound, with thousands of these majestic creatures being killed each year. But the ripple effects go far beyond the whales themselves. When a whale's life is cut short, the ecosystems that depend on their carcasses, known as whale falls, are also affected. These unique habitats, teeming with life, rely on the decomposition of whale bones for sustenance. Species of worms and other organisms that exist nowhere else on Earth thrive on whale falls, highlighting their importance in sustaining life in the deep ocean. Whale hunting disrupts this delicate balance, threatening not just the whales but the myriad of life forms that depend on them. Even after their death, each whale lost is an entire ecosystem disrupted, a unique habitat destroyed. So, next time you think about the death of a whale, remember the unseen journey that begins beneath the waves and the life it supports in the depths of the ocean.